What's up guys, it's Emmanuel. Today we're gonna test an electric pressure washer. And this one is gonna be amazing because this one, you can hang it on the wall and the hose is retractable. Okay, so let's test it. Let's see how good it is right now. Do it. Okay guys, so this is what it comes inside of the box. The brand is uh, this one, <laughs> Giraffe or Giraffe Tools, I think. I think that's the right uh, pronunciation. Okay, so this one is a hundred feet hose, pressure hose, okay? <laughs> it's amazing and it's retractable. You can pull the hose back a little bit and then it will roll back in the roll, the hose, okay? The maximum pressure is 200 and, uh, 2200 uh, PSI. That's the maximum pressure. And this one uh, uh, works. The working pressure is 1700 PSI. That's amazing, okay? And has the multiple tips, the nozzle. That's amazing, it's cool. And it comes with this hose to connect it to the water. But I think it's too short for me. So this one, I'm gonna use the one I have already. And this one is for the water. But I think this one goes here. Yeah, goes there. So no uh, dirt it will go inside of the pressure. And it comes with uh, this. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it, the, the foam gun. And this is the gun, like this, it's very nice, it's, a, it's made of plastic, so, but it looks good, this one you can put it here, and this one you can put it over there, and the tips, you can put it here, all the tips, so you don't lo won't lose them, okay, so this is this, 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 the gun, and it has the screws to mount it in the wall. That's amazing, at the level. But I have a level already. The instructions, I'm gonna read the instructions to see how to install it. And this is the mounting plate. So this one, we're gonna put on the wall, and then after that, you can slide this on the plate. So, let's start with the installation of this amazing thing. <laughs> let's do it. All right, so I think I found the perfect spot for the pressure washer. I'm gonna put it here. So let's install it here, <laughs> right here. Let's do it. Okay guys, <laughs> this is so hard to do it with a regular uh, drill. I'm gonna get the cord hammer drill, the one that has a cord. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> Cause this one is gonna take me like a four hours just to do the holes, man. I've already been here an hour, almost an hour, and look at this, it's not even... A... Let me show you the, with the drill bit. See, not even uh, an inch, only half inch or less than a half inch. <laughs> and this is too hard, so let me get a hammer drill. Okay, finally we got the holes. <laughs> it still was hard with the other 
drill the hammer drill because this is super hard so maybe you, sh you should get a good quality drill bits because i think this one they are not sharp anymore so that's why i was having a hard time but now i got it you can see it there okay so we're back i bought a different screw shorter like this one and i bought the watchers okay i'm gonna put the link for this one too and the information over there okay these are a little bit shorter okay because on my wall it's very hard to drill so i already made the hole till here but not this one doesn't fit the hole is too small so i'm gonna use this okay so let's continue with the installation Alright guys, finally <laughs> on the wall, but I don't know, maybe it's too high for some people, for me maybe <laughs> it's high, but I left it high because I'm going to run the, the hose on top of the fence, because when I want to wash my cars, I'm going to run the hose over there, and also I want to do some cleaning on the exterior of the house, and we're going to test it with that, we're going to test uh, cleaning the bottom of the wall, Let's see how it works like that like those things okay so let, let me put the gun every all the tools i'm gonna put an extension to connect it and let's see how it works let's do that Okay, so we're ready to test it. I just need to connect the, the water and the power, okay? Maybe I did left it a little bit high, but the reason I did it like that because I'm gonna run the, the hose on top of the fence. But if you are gonna do this on the outside, on the exterior, maybe do it a little bit lower, <laughs> like around here, like a, I think four feet, four feet high is better. But that for me is perfect for me. But for you, if you you can put it, and even if you want to put it inside of the garage, that's good. But this one, remember, is removable. You can rem uh, pull it up and start it if you want. Because when the cold, the weather is cold, you have to put it inside of the garage or your house. Okay. So now let's time. It's time to test it. Okay, one tip <laughs> and mistake that I did, the metal, you know, for this adapter, the metal, the aluminum part has to go to the inside and the plastic uh, part of this adapter has to go to the outside. Because I put it in the wrong way, this one to the inside, the other one to the outside and a lot of water <laughs> came out, okay? So, don't do the same mistake I did, put the black plastic facing the outside and the aluminum uh, piece to the inside okay so that's the only mistake i did but now i already fixed it so it's ready connection is ready and now before you turn this one on uh, open the water hose okay the water has to be running first and then you can plug this one to the power and turn it on let's start with this okay guys let me show you the outro retraction feature for the pressure washer okay so first get the gun in your hand okay always keep the gun in your hand and with the other hand grab it here and pull like this and then stop but do a small pull like this and then the hose it will stop and then to retract the hose do a small pull but always keep the gun in your hand like this and then go back like this back 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 and it's ready 
be very careful uh, always keep the gun in your hand because this is very powerful and you don't want to hurt yourself okay so this is how it works it's a very nice feature but be very careful it has a lot of power <laughs> all right so that's how it works Okay, <laughs> as you can see, it's great. Now it's super clean. So before it was like this, super green. Let me show you this one. Let's see how it cleans this one, the wood too. Oh, you can see it here. You see, clean wood, dirty wood. <laughs> <Good thing. laughs> Broken. <laughs> okay, you can see there the difference, clean and dirty wood. <laughs> okay, let's continue with this uh, cleaning. Let's do the more of the back. Okay, right there you can see the difference. Dirty side, clean side. <laughs> I think this one has been there for a long time because it still has a lot. But I think that one is already inside of the wood in that area. But as you can see, it looks better than this. I see it better here. <laughs> Amazing. This one, clean, dirty. Almost there too. Amazing. <laughs> Let me finish all this thing and after this we're gonna wash the car. Let's see how good it is to do a car wash. Test number two, we're gonna test it here on the driveway. Okay, we're gonna start with the red tip first. Red tip. Red tip. And then, orange tip. Now, white tip, white tip, ah, sorry, now, 
Да, white tip. I like this one better. Okay, so the difference you can see over there is clean. In over in the right side is more dirty. So let me explain the difference between the tips. So the zero tip is just the one line. <laughs> the 15 is 15 degrees wide for the water pressure. 25 is a little bit wider and the 45 is more wide. I think the the 15, I like the 15. It's uh, cleans better and it's still wide enough for me. But if you want it wider, you need to use the 45. For me, I think I like <laughs> the orange more. Okay? To clean the car, I'm gonna use the white one because it's a little bit wider. Okay, so let's start. The next test is to wash the car. Let's do it. All right, so now the next one. The next step is to wash the car <laughs> okay so for that we're gonna use the white tip okay okay make sure it's all the way it doesn't fall and hit the car so let's start yeah, that's great Okay, now we're gonna test the bottle, the foam gun bottle. We're gonna put the water, three quarters, I think, of water, and this much of soap, one quarter of soap, okay? Let's put the soap, let's do it. So this one is to adjust how much foam do you want and this one is to adjust the water mixing with the soap so to the to the right is less to the left is more so we want more we want a lot <laughs> so okay so let's see Okay, we want more. We want more. Just a little bit. Like that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe less. All the soap? Half? Like that. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Look at this! Look at that! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Let's continue with the other side. <laughs> it's a, that's a lot of the bottle, man, look! I just used a little bit and I already did half of the car. It's amazing!
Okay, guys, this was the pressure washer, electric pressure washer. Okay, so now I'm gonna give my opinion. Okay, this is my pros and cons about this pressure washer. Okay, the the pro, first pro. Okay, that this one is quieter than the gas pressure washer. The gas pressure washer, those are super loud. Okay, and this one is quieter than a gas pressure washer so this is the first pro the second pro that you don't have to get gas because this one is electric all all that you need is a plug and a extension cord to connect it that is amazing i love that <laughs> and the third pro is that this one doesn't require a lot of maintenance okay it's very easy to clean to maintain and to keep it clean and safe <laughs> okay so that's the third pro not a lot of maintenance and the fourth pro and last pro about the electric pressure washer is that the size is small because if you have a gas pressure washer those are uh, heavy and big <laughs> okay so this one is small in size and uh, and lighter okay so that's those are all the pros about the pressure washer okay now i'm gonna tell the cons we have to do this okay <laughs> okay the first con is the pressure it doesn't have the same pressure as a gas pressure washer okay but it's okay for the pressure that a electric uh, pressure washer has on the water i think it's fine for me it's enough to clean the patio the driveway my car even the walls the walls of the house for me is enough but if you want a lot of pressure maybe this is not the pressure washer for you okay. the second con about an electric pressure washer is that it still make noise okay it is quieter okay than a uh, gas pressure washer but it still makes noise okay <laughs> okay so that's the second con and the third and last uh, con about the pre electric pressure washer is that most of the material is made of plastic okay and if you have a gas pressure washer usually those the parts are made of metal and very strong because they're more expensive <laughs> okay but the electric pressure washer some of the materials are made of plastic so that's a con still they still works good and they last a uh, good uh, time okay so those are my cons i think these are amazing especially that this one you can put it outside of the house and leave it there but if you want uh, to put it inside of the garage you can do that too so the link for this product is gonna be on the description of the video down below and so let me know what you guys think of the video of anything was wrong Put in the comments okay if you like the video please like the video that helps the channel a lot and subscribe for more videos like this one thank you for watching and see you on the next video